So now let's see how we can use the pen and line tool inside of Snagit Editor. So in order to use pen and line tool, you can see that I have pen right here, but if you don't find it there, you simply go on to more and you can find pen and line right here. So line are simply straight lines. So you can select out a line right here, click and drag it, and that's a line. And you can change this into an arrow as well. So it is actually similar to the arrow tool right here. You can increase out the thickness and then decrease out the opacity right over here. Just select this out and then change it out. So I'm just going to change around the end right here. Just like this, just go around, change it out, change around the end and select the style just like this. Increase out the thickness, change the opacity right over here. And of course, you can have the Bezier curve as well. So if you were to go and drag this out, you can see that it is curvy looking. So it is same as the arrow. So there's no difference between the line and the arrows when you come to think of it. So now let's go on to the pen tool. So pen is when you can freely draw in over here on uh, the screenshot. Let's say, for example, I'm going to click and drag it around right over here in the subscribe tool. You can see that this is the pen tool. There are like dots right here. As you can see it right here, you can just go around and drag it out just like that. So if you have to drag it around just like that, you can place it around where you, wherever you want. You can also change around the color right over here by clicking on these or change the color from here. You can change around the uh, shape right there of the curve as well. So for example, if this is like a square uh, pen that you're using, a circle pen or a flat pen right over here, just like that to give a different effect. You can also add in shadows right here or disable the shadows and you can go around and of course change around the color, the rotation and everything, distance, opacity and blur or blurness of the shadow as well. You can change around the width of the pen, uh, the drawing right here as well, change the opacity and you can enable anti-alias or not. So if you were to really zoom in, you'll see the difference right here. So if I were to go over here just like this. And if I were to turn off anti-aliasing just like that, you can see that it becomes a bit uh, jagged right here and I can turn it on to make it a bit more smoother. I can turn it on to uh, make it a vector layer just like that or not just like that. That is up to us. So go around over here, just turn on or turn off anti-aliasing right here. You can see a subtle change right here as you can see. So there's like small thing over here. As I turn it on, it becomes more smoother. I can turn it into a vector layer as well, so that as uh, much as I zoom, uh, even if I zoom very much, there's no sign of pixelation right, uh, right so there whatsoever. So that is how you can use out the pen tool. So it's usually helpful when you're going around and then let's say, for example, you want to make a tick mark right over here in different places of the screenshot or go around and then show some part of the screenshot right over here, just like that. And that is how you can use the pen and line tool inside of Snagit. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.